Okay. Hi, everyone. Again, uh, I would like to see and check if you all can hear me now. And if you see my screen, of course. Okay, just give me a sign and you can write me in the text box, some of you, if you can hear me and you can see my screen well. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll start. So, again, uh, welcome to the Fiverr's Weekly Analysis. Uh, this week, is, as I do in every week, uh, I'll pick some uh, four, uh, three currency pairs, and as exception, this time, I choose the Bitcoin uh, as addition. Uh, so I'll start with the GBP uh, against the uh, US dollar, uh, GBP USD. And as you can see, I'll start with the 15 minute chart, and I marked above the supply and below the demand, okay? Both are the key levels for a kind of an intraday uh, position. And the supply above seems like the strong one. And as it look now, I believe that the price is really tend to reach this supply above us, which is not far. And below, we can see the demand, which can be a great continuation level if the price will go down and check the demand before reaching the supply above. We should see something like this. This is what I'm waiting for. Okay, I'm just painted on the chart. Right. So if the price will retrace this demand before reaching the supply above, I'll definitely consider to buy this demand level. We can see how this demand has broke out this resistance from the left, all this area. Okay. So I'll definitely consider to buy this demand. The target for this uh, position will be this supply above. And if the price will reach the supply above, I'll definitely consider to sell GBPUSD at this level. This is for the kind of intraday or short term uh, uh, analysis. Uh, I choose this time frame with, for the GBPUSD since if we take a look on the higher time frame, we will see that the price uh, is still uh, in kind of a range for uh, two or three weeks already. And I couldn't find any great opportunity or, or strong level uh, uh, for a long-term position or for even for the swingers among us. So I'll stay focused on the short term, as you can see. Again, the supply above and the demand below are the great level for the intraday uh, position uh, in the GBP USD. The next pair I choose is the AUD JPY the Aussie against the Japanese yen, okay? I look, uh, as you can see, I'm looking on the one hour chart, the hourly chart, and I marked above and below the key level that I believe at the moment are the best level to act. So we can see the supply above and the price create this supply today and we can see how the price dropped down very fast and strong from that level we can also look further from the left all right and see that the uptrend the recent uptrend, uptrend that we just had before uh, uh, has changed and the price is now uh, i would say in a kind of a downtrend since the last low here at this level when I'm pointing that the last low of the recent uptrend has broke out 
by this supply. When the price broke out the last low of the uptrend, it's the first indication of the momentum change from bullish to bearish. And therefore, I believe that the price uh, now, as it look, tends to reach this demand below here. Okay, so I'll definitely consider to sell this supply. If the price will reach there, I'll just paint again on the chart what I'm looking for or what I'm waiting for. And it should be something like this, hopefully. Okay, so of course, if the price will reach the supply, I'll sell the supply. And for the long term, I believe that the price, as it seems, tends to reach this demand here below since if we are looking at the point at the level where the price stopped it's about here and it's not a demand uh, and it's not a some strong level that will hold the price as it look now and uh, therefore i believe that the price will go through the next available demand all right so this is probably the next level which might hold the price and stop this uh, bearish momentum so this demand will be the target and it can be also a great level for a buy position okay i will definitely act on the first opportunity that will occur if it's the supply or if it's the demand below okay this as you can see also relevant more for a swing forex trader so just be patient all right the next is the euro dollar of course if some of you have any questions you are more than welcome to ask okay and i'll take a look and okay the next asset is the euro dollar all right I choose the four hour chart. Okay, I'll just take this line out. And as you can see, the price is still hold by this support down here. And just above, there is a great fresh supply, which can be a great level for selling the Euro dollar. And just below, we can see this demand that since the price created, uh, it never tested uh, yet. So I'll definitely believe that the price is tends to reach this demand here below. And if the price will get first to this supply, as I'm just painting now, I'm definitely waiting for something like this. So I'll sell the supply in order to reach this demand below, which is the target also, and also a, a great level for buy position. I'll try to look a bit uh, 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 in the intraday opportunity for the Euro dollar. Okay. So this is the 15 minute chart and the conclusion of this supply of selling this supply for the long term also can give us an indication that as an intraday or day trading uh, 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 we can still look for a opportunity to buy the euro dollar in order to continue this movement and go with the price up there to reach this supply so if I'm looking for the next available demand to buy the euro dollar, I believe it will be somewhere here at the bottom. Okay, I'll just change the color. All right. I think the in the 15 minute chart the picture was much more clearly. All right. So that's the level where I'll definitely look to buy the euro dollar, but I'll do it only if the price didn't reach this supply above before. 
okay so that's for now the euro dollar back to the four hour chart sell at this supply and buy at this demand as it look now and the last one is the bitcoin i choose the bitcoin because i think this situation the picture that we get here is very very uh, uh, clear and uh, it seems like a great opportunity and as you can see the price just create a significant supply here just above which this supply has broke out uh, many levels in the price which is this level and this level and almost this demand as you can see that level was a demand that the price created get back to test this demand collect some others and up again down and up again so all this support okay in fact holding on this demand and the price as you can see this supply dropped the price a bit below this level and it's kind of an indication that the price if already reached this level where i pointing with my mouse here if the price already get to this level it most likely tends to reach this demand here below which seems like the next significant level at the moment the price just as you can see ranging between those levels and nothing happened but i'll definitely wait for the price to reach one of these levels and as always i'll act at the first touch if the price reach the supply first i'll sell the supply and the target will be the demand below or the opposite if the price will reach first the demand below i'll buy this demand i'll buy the bitcoin and the target will be the supply here above okay that's all for today uh, i'll wait for another few seconds if some of you have any questions okay and i wish you all successful in the rest of the week thank you for joining us and see you the next week bye bye